We recently did a poll on YouTube where we asked you guys, our subscribers, what kind of content you really wanted to see. And overwhelmingly, you guys still love the S550s so are looking for more content on that. Well, we asked for some ideas, and one idea we got was wheel fitment. What wheels are going to fit on my S550 Mustang? There's a lot that goes into that as far as how aggressive you want to get, depends on how the car's lowered. There's a lot that really goes into overall wheel fitment. But today we're going to touch on some very common fitments for the S550. We'll talk about some drag fitments, and we'll get into some more aggressive stuff as well. Now before we get too far into it, we're going to give you a quick rundown of what these numbers mean. We're going to explain backspace, we'll tell you what offset is, and we'll talk about the actual sizes on the tire. We're going to start with the tire itself. Now on the side of the tire here, you're going to have some numbers. Now in the case of this tire, this is a 285-30-ZR2099W. The 285 is going to be the width of the tire in millimeters. That second number is the aspect ratio. That is the percentage of the width that is the sidewall. So this is a 30, it's a very, very low sidewall. As the number goes up, the sidewall will get thicker because again, it's a percentage of the width. You know, ZR is going to be radial and then Z rated. And the 20 is the actual diameter of the wheel it's gonna fit. So this is obviously gonna fit a 20 inch wheel. The last two are gonna be a load rating, then your actual speed rating. When it comes to backspacing and offset, we have a great video already on our channel. Let me give you a quick rundown of what it means. We'll start with backspacing. Backspacing is gonna be the measurement from the back of this hub to the back edge of the wheel. So basically, as this number gets larger, this edge of the wheel gets closer and closer to the car. Now for offset, imagine you draw a line straight through the middle of the wheel. Now if that line, slicing this wheel in half, is equal to this hub, that's gonna be a zero offset wheel. Now if you have positive, which a lot of these are going to be, that means that this hub is forward towards the outside of the wheel from that center line. You have a negative offset, that means the hub is gonna be tucked further in, again, from that center line. Almost all wheels that fit Mustangs, especially larger wheels, are gonna have a positive offset. When you get into some of your drag wheels, that's where you're gonna see a negative. We're gonna show you three different wheel fitments on the S550. What we're gonna focus on now are gonna be fitments that will work with your standard lowering spring, your CJ Pony Part springs, your Eibach springs, anything in the inch to inch and a half range. Once you get below that, then there's some other variables to take into consideration. We'll discuss those a little bit later. But we're gonna start here with my 2018 Mustang GT. Now, these are gonna be the largest wheels that we're gonna show for the three options that we have. These are gonna be an HRE FF04 wheel, and these are gonna be a 20 by 10 in the front and a 2011 in the rear. The front tire I'm running is a 275-3520, and I'm running a 295-3520 in the rear. Now I'm sure you might question why am I running a 295 and not a 305 or something larger in the back. Mainly for me, it's an aesthetics thing. I like the look of the 295-35 because it's 27 and a half inches tall. If you go to the 305-30 in the back, it's 27.2, so it'd actually be slightly lower than my front wheel. I like the fact that the 275 and 295-35 are pretty even as far as tire height, and for me again, it's just a personal preference as far as the fitment that I like. The 305-35 in the back is taller, but that's almost 28 inches tall. Again, I'm just not a really big fan of the look, but you can run a 305-30 or 305-35 easily on the back of this car. Now, as far as the fitment on these, like I said, it's a 20 by 10 inch front. It's a 6.88 backspace with a plus 35 offset. So again, these are pushed out a little bit. And then the rear fitment, like I said, is a 20 by 11 inch wheel with a 7.97 inch backspace and a plus 50 offset. Now you can see it's a very, very deep wheel going inside the car. And these wheels will fit on your 2015 through 2019. It'll fit all body styles, including the Shelby. All right, now we move on to this 2016 orange GT over here. Now this car is on coilovers. It has a pedder suspension on it, so it's gonna be a little bit lower than your conventional spring. I actually know for a fact that 20 by 10 inch wheel I run will not fit this car. So in his case, he's running a 20 by nine and a half in the front and a 20 by 10 and a half in the back. So half an inch narrower all the way around than what I have on my personal car. Now again though, he is running the 275-35 front and the 295-35 rear tire, which fits really well at this ride height. To go any larger in the front would require additional negative camber, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Now these wheels are the HRE FF01, and again, it's a 20 by nine and a half in the front with a 6.63 backspace and a plus 35 offset. The rears are 20 by 10 and a half with a 7.52 backspace and a plus 45 offset. Now the last car we're looking at is our 2015 Mustang GT. Now again, this has the same size tires as the other two. Actually, all three cars have the exact same Nitto 555 G2s in 275, 35, 
and 295.35, so it's a straight comparison of how the wheel fits, not the tire difference itself. Now this car here, this is a 20 by 9 inch wheel in the front, and it has a 20 by 11 inch wheel in the rear. So this is the most staggered setup we have, and these are the AR924 Crossfire wheels. For the American Racing wheels, the 20 by 9 front wheel is a 6.38 backspace with a plus 35 offset, and the rear of this again is a 20 by 11. It's got a 7.52 backspace and a plus 45 offset. Now, so far, everything we've discussed is going to be a staggered setup. So we found they're a lot more popular than the square setups. Now, if you do want to go with a square setup, the same size at all four corners, up to a 10 inch wheel normally is not going to have any issues. If you want to go with a 10 and a half or an 11 in the front, that's when you need spacers, usually some more camera. There's a lot of modifications necessary. But if you stick with either an 18, 19, or 20, and a 10 inch or smaller all the way around, a square setup can work as well. Now, if you're looking to go lower and want that real, real aggressive fitment, there's a few ways, a few changes you're gonna have to make to make that work. The one nice thing about Ford, your quarters and fenders are already rolled, so you have as much room as possible inside. Now, to get that more aggressive fitment, to go to 315s, 335s, you know, 295s in the front, you have to add additional negative camera. Now, this is factory suspension is not going to do that. When you lower the car, you will get some more camber in the back, but not so much in the front. It's gonna max out pretty quickly. So if you wanna go that direction, we have caster camber plates from companies like Maxwell Motorsports for the front. We have adjustable camber arms from UPR. The light you get that additional negative camber, you need to get that really, really large tire under there. Just keep in mind, if you're running that much additional camber, you're probably gonna see uneven tire wear. Now you might be wondering about drag wheel fitment. So we don't have a car here with drag wheels on it. We're gonna show you some pictures though of a car we sponsor with a drag setup. We'll explain the details of what's needed to put drag wheels in your S550 Mustang. Now this is Josh's 2018 Mustang GT. Now this is a base model car and he is running the 15 by 933 welds in the back and a 17 by five in the front. Now the rear wheels have a 6.5 backspace with a plus 37 offset and have a 255 60 15, which fits his car really nicely. The fronts are 17 by 5 with a 2.2 backspace and a negative 21 offset and a 20 by 6 by 17 inch front runner tire. Now, I should mention on this car to run a 15 inch wheel on your S550, you will have to change the rear brakes to the bare drag brake for proper clearance of the rear wheel. If you want to stick with a 17 inch for the rear, you need a 17 by 9.5 inch wheel with either a 275 45 or a 305 45 tire. The 275 will be 26 inches tall and the 305 will be 28 inches tall. Now, I should mention also, if you have a performance pack car, you need to go with an 18 by 5 inch front wheel as a 17 will not clear and a 26 by 6 by 18 tire. I hope that gave you a little bit of a better idea of how wheel and tire fitments actually work. Now, again, when it comes to wheel fitment and tire fitment, there's so many different options we could never cover them all in a video. But if you stick with the parameters we explained here, we guarantee these wheels and tires will fit your S550 Mustang. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you click on the CJ button so you subscribe for future videos and click the corner up here for more videos for your Mustang.